this whole, you know, I don't know what you would call this kind of a work. It's a kind of a, a collage of influence or something. No? So it really goes from something like this, which is a postcard, which I bought on the island of the Torcello, just outside of Venice, because someone told me that I should go there because I could see the image of the Antichrist. And I'm a sucker for that. And then there's a postcard of a beautiful painting by uh, Lucas Cranach, which is a huge influence on me, right next to uh, Caravaggio. And I thought it'd be really, I, you know, a lot of this is to do with playfulness and the idea that, you know, as an artist, you're allowed to play. Now, here's the Antichrist. This is important. So this is Satan. And this is the Antichrist, and it's one of the first times that it, he was ever pictured. You know, when I was a student in, in Glasgow, there was a, an emphasis on the autobiographical, and I think that was a really important thing. You know, it wasn't easy, it's never easy. You know, but at the same time, we had a conceptual grounding, a theoretical grounding. You know, but, uh, you know, one of my uh, professors there, Samantha Ainsley, really emphasized this idea that, yeah, the work is coming from you, so don't deny it, you know. You don't have to show everyone everything, but, don't be afraid. You know? mm -hmm. You know, because I was kind of interested in this idea that the more you love something, the you know, if you love something too much, then you can actually begin to destroy it. You know, you can smother it or you can set it on fire. You know, if you're in a dark room and you need to see something, then you take a candle and you go closer and closer and closer and closer and closer. And the closer that you get to it, there's a possibility that it's going to go like that. So, you know, that's where I went. I had this idea that, um, you know, something is inexpensive and trashy, you know, in a way. This is where revolution actually comes from. I wanted to play with this idea that, you know, the revolution comes from the inside and from the street. And it kind of, I don't know, there's uh, something about it that really made me, I don't know, want to think about uh, the relationship between a parent and a child. And as I'm a father, I wanted to play with this idea that this is the parent and this is the child. We're doing the same thing, we're replicating each other, but we're completely apart, you know? I mean, I'll show you what I mean. So I'm now the parent, 